friendship welcome to gospel artist Lucinda Moore. said, I'm going to make it. If your neighbor didn't get happy with you, that means they're jealous. So find you another neighbor and say, neighbor, I know I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. Anyhow, somebody say it. Say it. Somebody lift those hands and say glory. Amen. Y'all better sit down. Because I feel like having church this morning. Pastor, I feel like having church. Said I'm going to make it. Anyhow. High five your neighbor say anyhow. I'm going to make it if I have to fight for it. If I have to run for it, hey, shouldn't I not say, hey, I'm going to make it. Sit down. I got to do my tracks. Sit down. Sit down, sit down. I have to do my tracks. Woo! Oh, they right now. They good now. They good. All right, I heard y'all crazy. But that's all right. You could be crazy and tell the world I'm going to make it. Through the storm and through the rain. Through the heartaches and through the pain. Oh, come on, musician, y'all stop. Okay, okay, okay. Stop, y'all, stop. Hey, hey, I feel like running in this house. Somebody look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, if you've been through what I've been through, you'll be running too. You'll be shouting too. Ah! I said, I don't look like what I've been through. I don't look like what I've been through. The devil thought he had me. I said, Satan thought he had me. But somebody looked to your neighbor and said, I'm still here. Would y'all stop? I guess this is my song. I guess. Whew. I'm sorry. My bad. Sorry, not sorry. Hallelujah. Y'all said that. Come on, y'all. Is this is what you go through? Okay, I see. Oh my God. All you got to do is just think of the goodness 
of Jesus and all that he's done for you. Some of y'all should have been dead in your grave. But somebody looked to your neighbor and said, neighbor, didn't I tell you I'm still here? <laughs> Some of y'all should have lost your mind. But somebody looked to somebody that's going to get happy with you and said, neighbor, I'm still here and I'm not going nowhere. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me get over here. I'm not your typical artist. I'm sorry. I go with the flow. And if I have a track and the Lord tell me to turn off the track, that's what I'll do. I'll promote later. Something. But somebody just give God some praise in this house. Hallelujah. Clapping is all right, but the miracle is in your mouth. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Giving honor to God, to the pastor of this house. I mean, do I got to pull out? Yes, yes, yes. Do I got to pull that out? The calm us down. No, we got to calm down. Shh. Quiet. Shh. Listen. Give an honor to God to the pastor of this house. Pastor Frank Stevenson. Where the first lady at? First lady? Give an honor to God to the first lady? No first lady? She not here? I'm sorry. My bad. Shucks. We were just shouting. My bad. And to everyone that's here, and to the DA, don't arrest me, please. <laughs> to the deacons, the trustees, everybody that's here, I thank God for just giving God the glory. I thank God for my life, my health, my strength. I thank God for saving me. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I thank God. I got to give honor to my pastor, Pastor James Gallier in Rocky Mount, North Carolina. Amen, that's my pastor. You gotta be faithful in your church before God could take you anywhere. Amen. I thank God for being faithful. Thank God for all he do. Listen, I have a, I wrote a song years ago called Turn Your Pressure Into Praise, but I'm not doing that today. <laughs> Just telling y'all who I am right now. Um, I, I sung that song, I'm gonna thank God for Brother Nate Nate Bean, for just being off the chain. Just, just off the chain. Y'all, y'all, that was a petty clap. God, leave. They backed, him and his group backed me up years ago when I had to open up for the Stella Awards. And um, I just thank God for his life. But I got a, I have a song out right now. I don't know if you, anybody have Sirius XM, but it's been riding on Sirius XM like crazy. And I don't know about the radio station called, the name of the song is called Lord I Hear You. And I wrote this song um, back in 2015 when the doctor told me that I had a cyst the size of a watermelon on my spine. So they had to do immediate surgery. And I looked at this doctor. I said, doctor, I said, doc, I got all these dates coming up. I cannot do. He said, Lord, he said, you need to do this surgery now. Because if you don't, you'll be paralyzed in the next week. I said, okay. So now I got to call all these pastors and these bishops and tell them that I can't come and sing. I said, Lord, I hear you. I just got to just lay down. Got on the surgery table and they told me that my heart stopped on the table during surgery. I lifted up my hands, I said, Lord, I hear you. And so I wrote, I penned this song along with uh, Cedric Thompson, he added the music to it. I penned the words to this song in my hospital room. And I said, Lord, I hear you. Go on, hit the track, sir. Hit the track, hurry up, turn it up. Lord, I hear you. Yes, I hear you. 
Can I tell y'all what's crazy? That some of the people that's listening to this song say it every day. I hear you, Lord. We say it every day. Some of y'all are sitting in here with ailments. You're sitting in here with cancer and diabetes. And you want God to heal you. But there's something that God wants you to do. And nothing is going to happen until you do it. Somebody looked to your name and said, nothing, nothing. from nothing leaves nothing. If you don't want nothing, then you ain't going to get nothing. So God wants you to do something in order to get something. You can't just sit and look in the atmosphere of God. If you want healing, I dare you to get up and give God a praise right now. No, nope, clapping is all right. He wants your lips. He wants your mouth. He wants praise. And pastor, I believe what they do at home, they'll do at the church. If they don't know how to praise them at home, they won't know how to praise them at church. Whatever you do at home, do it now. I, I, yeah. I hear you, Lord. I hear you, Lord. <laughs> I hear you. <sighs> oh, 
Baby, I'm telling you, you got to get your praise in or get left. That's C sharp. Go to C sharp. I'm telling y'all, my shoes hurt. I hear you, Lord. Give me them flats. I need, I need to minister this song to y'all because some of y'all don't think real is real. God is worthy to be praised. How many know that you are covered by the blood of Jesus? Some of us lift our hand and say, I hear you, Lord, every day, but don't know that you're covered, too. You're covered by the blood. Somebody just lift your hands and say, the blood of Jesus is covering my family. It's covering my children. Even in the prison, it's covering them. It's covering my home. It's covering my job. It's covering me in the supermarket. I hear you. It's covering me in the courthouse. It's covering me. Is that C sharp? I feel like singing this song right now. I don't know who this is for out there. Pastor, if I had time, I'll tell you who it's for because I, I flow like that. I ain't got no time. You are the source of my strength. And you are, come on, somebody lift those hands. Lift them, lift them. The strength of my life. Don't be scared, don't be scared. Y'all play. And I lift, come on, lift those hands. My head, the end, total praise. Yes, God, to, to you. Can I say that one more time? I just want to sing this song. And you are. Oh, somebody lift those hands. Lord, I, Lord, if you know it, come on and sing it. Let me hear you say it. Knowing my help.
trust in my strength. Even when I'm weak in my body, said you are.
everybody see it. 